Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me um, for this beautiful session we are about to have. Um, tonight's session is going to be about abundance. Um, I've asked for healing codes to be placed down, um, abundance of money, abundance of love, abundance of joy, abundance of peace, um, abundance of whatever it is that you are trying to manifest into your life. Um, I want, I've asked that these codes would come through for you, that these act, they would be activated within your mind, body, and spirit, and that um, we could literally just clear out any blockages and things that are just in the way from allowing these codes and things to come in. So that's what we're going to work on today, and I'm so happy that you're here with me, and thank you so much for watching. So I'm going to clear you guys off, get your feathers ready, ready folks, prepare yourself. And um, whenever I was setting up the healing chamber, um, the bed or the med bed, um, whatever you want to call it, um, changed over into emerald. So it's completely this beautiful green emerald to represent money. Um, and then it's outlined in gold, just this beautiful gold. So it's just kind of sealed in with all this beautiful energy. So just know that you're lying on something so sacred and beautiful and not everything is about money money is is wonderful and we want to manifest it so that we can have experiences you know that's really my intention is so that i may have experiences so that i may do these healings and so that i may continue to do these healings so i may continue to you know be of service to humanity without worrying about my bills or anything like that you know, and to, you know, be able to travel and do things and go places where your soul is drawing you to, you know, you definitely want to have those experiences or taking classes, you know, with healers, taking classes for something that you're trying to study or learn, you know, we need money so we can do and have these experiences. So I just want to call that in for you guys and call that in for, for humanity and for the collective, you know, it's our time. It's our time to step into that abundance. Our time to step into all that we came to be. And these experiences and these learning, you know, classes or whatever it is that, you know, you need to take in order to become who you want to be, you know, you got to have the cash flow. So maybe not in all cases. And if you don't, that's wonderful. Um, but in most cases, you know, people need to be paid for their services. And so we want to be able to give them what they what they need in order for them to survive for doing their good work. So, and honestly, you deserve it. You deserve abundance. That's just the end of all be all. You deserve a nice house. You deserve a nice car. You deserve to feed your children good food. You deserve to put them in college if they so choose. You deserve to do these things for yourselves and for your family. And you deserve nice vacations, okay? We're just going to move out all the energy that says you don't deserve it or that you're not worthy of it. That's We're moving that out tonight. My spirit has been very sassy all day, and I love her, so get ready. She's sassy, and she knows that she's worthy. <laughs> so, And I know you're worthy as well, so we're going to have fun tonight. <laughs> all right, here we go. Just want to say thank you to all the beautiful comments in all the videos. I really appreciate you guys reaching out and emailing and letting me know how these healings are just really resonating with you. And just for having fun with me and just just allowing yourselves to let these healing codes and all this energy to work on you. I mean, this is so cool and so much fun. So I just want to thank you for that. Here we go. I'm going to step into the crown now. I'm just going to use this guy. He's been charging in the sun all day. Opening up the crown, please. Sorry, I'm just seeing two other points formed inside of here. I've never seen that before. I'm looking at it from a different light. It's very cool. Just 
just allowing that energy to begin to flow into your crown. To clear out any old pathways in your mind that are lack based, removing all those negative thought patterns about money or lack of love or not feeling worthy of love, removing all of these negative energies and frequencies and vibrations within your mind now. Just shining light into all parts of your mind. Going into the third eye now. I'm just going to head into the third eye now. I'm just creating a spiral of energy, light beam flowing into the third eye now. Just lighting up anything that is not serving you and not of your highest good, transmuting back into light. It's funny because I'm seeing like the Flash, like the comic um, hero guy. He's like running through your brain. And just like almost illuminate, like lighting, <laughs> lighting things up. They're just showing me like this crystal is just kind of beaming into your third eye and then out. And then it's just kind of lighting up. It's just like this light is just coming out of your crown, out of your, out of your head out of your ears and just beaming out. At least some of you are getting just like a heck of a third eye like download activation. I'm just seeing this green, powerful light flowing in. I'm just gonna hold your head right here where your temples are. Creating new neural pathways in your brain. Bring in any dormant DNA online. Activating any gifts within you. Remove down into your ears now. 
Cesa ne ma i ele ki ese ti ti amo di ole kadei kari yeri yeshi ne ma tele kadei. It looks like it's your throat, but it's your ears. Kada ko ese ti ti ma i ele ki ese ti yeri yeshi yeri yeri ese ne ma tele kari yadai. Kola kari ase ne ma i ele ki ese ti ti ne ma tele ki ese ne ma tele ko i ese ne ma tele kadei. He's bouncing that energy back and forth. I'm just seeing a lot of healing codes lit up in green going from my hand to to the other hand and from one ear to the other just kind of bouncing back and forth into your brain and into your mind seems like green is our definite color for this evening if any of you have like green crystals or anything around you you know grab that or um, just hold the vision of green in your mind. That beautiful energy is just flowing right into your being. I'm going to come down into your throat now. I'm just getting the feeling of like holding you like right here. Like having that feeling. So I'm working on your throat. If you have a bunch of if you're tense on your shoulders or anything like that, this should feel really good. Just release and relax. Move your shoulders around. Let this energy flow. It's pretty much how I sleep at night. Um, I pretty much sleep with my hands crossed, like on my side, laying down, because the energy just flows down from my shoulders and just flows down my body, and it just feels so, so very good. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is if you have migraines from all of this energy on the full moons and stuff like that, a good trick that, not trick, but a good um, way to really move that, that headache out is putting one hand right here and one hand right here and lying down like that. And just imagine and envision the energy is from your hands is kind of dissolving the energy in your, in your mind. You know, sometimes these downloads are coming into the tops of our head and they're kind of getting stuck. They get stuck right here, you know, and our necks can hurt. And it's almost like they don't realize that we are human. And we're in these, they know they know we're human, but it's like we're in these 3D bodies, you know, so it's very dense. And so our bodies aren't just like, boom, here's a download and, you know, it just goes right into our bodies. It's like, especially if you're just not starting out but especially if you're new to all of this you know your body gets lighter and lighter as you continue down this path so that the downloads just come in and they just flow right in because it's the dense energy that stops it if that makes sense if you look at everything from an energetic energetic point of view your light body you want to keep moving and elevating your body so that your body is like this crystallized light body so then the downloads come in they come in they flow in boom they're activated, you're activated, and you're ready to go. So, yeah. So, yeah. Going into the throat now. I'm just seeing a black striped cat. Getting the word feline, feline. 
Palikya Aisha in the Matadi, but this is the Mate Loka day, they're just saying it's somebody's guide. Gilakwa is in the Mate, and they're kind of just sitting right here. Gilakwa Aisha is in the Monti, Rikia is in the Monti, or Likwa is in the Motrayati. Gilakwa Aisha is in the Mate day. If this is a cat that lives with you right now, it's it's helping you, it's trying to, it's assisting you on your path. Um, whenever I got on my healer's path and, you know, get, got my attunements and all this stuff, I had a black cat that uh, was calico and she had these bright green eyes and she just reminded me of Isis. I just knew, I knew there was an essence of her that was within that damn cat. And the cat only stayed with me for probably like six months and then I went to Israel for a trip. I got back and my little sister or somebody left the door open and left that night and didn't come home and then the cat never came back and it tore me up. I was like, oh my God, I don't, you know, I love animals, don't get me wrong, but there was something about that damn cat that just messed me up. But she, she comes around now in spirit form, um, and we're very connected, and she's a familiar. You know, she's animals come in to help and assist us. You know, they're our little guides. Whether you know it or not, you know, that cat would come in every night that I was struggling so hard, and she would lay right on my chest and, like, just absorb all of the energies that I was going through, that I was purging. Because in the beginning of all this, you're purging. If you're in the beginning stages of all of this, if you're a healer, or if, if you're not a healer, if you're just in the beginning of all of this, you're purging a lot. And I am sending you so much love and so much blessings. And that's why I do these healings, because I know the struggle was real. I wish I would have had somebody that was doing healings online that I could have, you know, connected with and helped me through all this stuff but I just kind of gritted my teeth gripped my pillow and just <laughs> dealt with dealt with the stuff that was coming up you know and sometimes you just got to do that you just got to sleep it off but anyways that black cat that I'm seeing is definitely a guide for somebody and it feels like they do live at your house that they are a familiar to you so connect with your cat look them in their eyes you know you can be trans trans you can travel by looking through their eyes, you know, you can just like boom, zap and go into like another dimension. It's really bizarre and really cool. Like she took me to many places. Also feel like cats are like dragons in disguise. <laughs> really. If you look at them in their eyes, I'm just like, you are definitely a dragon i'm you are a dragon in a little bitty body and some of them have confirmed that pulling up all that energy in your throat that does not serve you I'm gonna go into the heart now. So I'm gonna hold your shoulders. I'm feeling on my clients whenever I work on them uh, here at in the studio. Um, whenever I hold their shoulders like this, I'm feeling so much energy that is it is just it's a lot that people are trying to clear, and it's like they're holding it right here more than anywhere. It's so bizarre and so um, not bizarre. I mean, it just is what it is, but it's very prickly. Um, so maybe you guys, if you're feeling that, maybe you could take your hands and just put your hands on your shoulders like this and just intend that the energy flow down each of your arms. Give your arms and your hands some love, you know. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your bodies. You got to travel through this life with that body, you know. And once you start taking care of the body and loving yourself and loving the body, it's like you quit letting people you know, you stop letting people disrespect you, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you stop letting people, men use you, women use you, you stop allowing 
things to happen to your body when you know that your body is sacred and it's a temple and it's it's holy and it's carrying you through this life you know it's it's a it's a vehicle for your soul you know and so we want to really take care of that and love it and love our arms and our hands and all the, all the parts of us you know self self love kile koya sinna madi ale kiya sinna mata yere chinna mata ile koya de kile koya sinna mata ile koya sinna mata ile koya sinna mata ile koya de koleya wa sinna mata opata sinna mata re opata sinna mata ile koya de they just show me all of your guys as light bodies and what that looks like for me is that have you ever seen if you've seen the galaxy and it's 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 like you're the galaxy you are the galaxy you're the night sky and they're just showing me like you sparkling like in this light energy so it's like you look like midnight blue like the night sky but you got this bright sparkly energy just sitting there just staring back at me just feeling i can just feel your body just kind of like vibrating at this higher frequency it feels really good and i'm really proud of you for doing this work and for for acknowledging that you are the universe and knowing that the universe resides within you i look at yes in the mate de go yes in the mate de go yes in the mate de go day que le guía es en la mate yo es en la mate yo lo guía es en la mate um i just keep hearing things about self love in my mind so i'm just going to i'm just going to speak it from from my own clarity and for for how i um for how I lo- learn to love myself um whenever I sobered up obviously I did not like myself very much because I just spent all my life uh using and abusing myself so it took me a long time to love myself and to really be okay with me but I knew that I was so miserable and depressed that I had to figure out how to love me again so I retrained my mind obviously but i did little things for myself and i remember i cooked myself a nice meal one night and it was a healthy meal it was just like and i don't cook a lot you know that's energy's my thing cooking's not my thing i love to eat but no um but i cooked myself a nice meal that night and i remember something shifted inside of me it was like the simplest thing of just cooking yourself a meal something healthy something to put nice into your body and i just remember that little bit of a shift like Oh, this feels good. I like the way this feels when I treated myself that way and you know, I started to like take walks and wow, this feels good. Like I'm really taking care of my body and and then, you know, the mental shifts um begin to occur when you start acting, you know, or acting um and and giving yourself what you need, you know. So many of us are like let me love you. Let me give you my heart and it's like you're projecting everything out to others. When you got to project that love back to you, you need you don't need them to love you. You need you to love you. When you love you, you don't care if they don't love you. <laughs> you don't care. You're just like you do care obviously if it's somebody that you want to love you. But when you love yourself and you do these little acts of kindness towards you, it's like you are so full of love that that's what's going to come back to you. So anyways so cooking yourself a nice meal taking a bath you know um and and I'm really focusing in on the mental shifts of like of um of loving yourself because yeah we can take a bath but we can also take a bath and sit in there and think about how horrible you know our lives are and how much we don't like ourselves and that's where the mental shift comes in it's like you got to think to yourself and talk to yourself wow i'm taking a bath for myself right now i'm i'm doing this you know i'm really loving myself right now i'm really trying to take care of you i'm really you know whatever it is that you need to do um to just give yourself that time and attention i'm just going into the heart now kile kile gore es en mondial loco de pelea es en molia es en mote very beautiful as soon as i went to the collective's heart it's like they showed me these beautiful gates just simply opening up like almost like huge like mansions like bel air homes or whatever you know 
um, where the gates are just like, they just begin to swing open. And as we drive in, it's like these beautiful, gorgeous mansions all lit up. Beautiful palm trees around, a nice pool. The grass is cut so beautifully. The sun is shining. You have a chef there cooking for you. Your loved ones around, or friends are around, or no one's around, whatever you like. <laughs> Might be a little dog around. <laughs> you know, it's your vision, it's your life. You choose it however you want. Just be in the moment right now. Create it in your mind. Go back and visit it every single day. Put yourself in that position. Put yourself right in the as you're walking through the doors of the home, what does it look like? Is there a chandelier there? Is there beautiful flowers as you walk into the foyer? Are there staircases going around? Is, you know, are there windows everywhere? Like, what does it look and feel like to you? Put yourself there, put your mind there. We can transport and go anywhere that we want in our minds. So really create in your mind your future you know yeah it's not happening right now but if you can get to this point where you take your thoughts and you go there you know you begin to create building blocks you know what do you want it to look like what do you want your future to feel like who do you want to be there what do you what color do you want the walls you know what's the bathroom look like how many cars do you have what does the garage look like? You know, whatever it is, whatever whatever suits your fancy, you know, just envision that. You deserve that. Know that in your heart. You deserve that. You deserve abundance. Too long we have lived in a way that is just not good. Like we've grown up thinking, oh, well, as long as we have a roof over our head, we're doing good. Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing real good if you've got a roof over your head. You really, really are. And it's something to be super proud of. And, and it's a true blessing because there's a lot of people that don't have that right now. And so we want to be super thankful for everything that we've got. But we also need to remember and know that this is an abundant universe. And energy is the currency. Energy is what will bring everything to you. Money is energy. Your thoughts are energy. So project your thoughts out there and bring that money back to you. They're wanting me to call an abundance codes for your heart. I'm going to call in healing codes for for the heart of the collective, please. Wow. I won't even tell you guys what I'm gonna see, what I'm seeing right now, but I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> it's like money just stacking, 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 stacking. Like my hands are getting heavy, heavy, heavy. In this bag, it's like gold coins just piling up in my hands, and then more cash. It's like, it's crazy. in the day. It's so funny because then I start seeing hearts popping around. So, a lot of you, you know, wanting love and money and, you know, all the things, whatever, whatever it is, whatever you want, you know, peace signs, whatever it is, man, just put, manifest it. Think it in your mind right now and just hold that vision for a moment. Whatever it is that you want. I'm seeing lots of trips. I'm seeing like a trip to France right now. I'm also seeing the Taj Mahal. I'm seeing the pyramids over here. They're actually showing me the pyramids on the on the um, dollar bill. I'm seeing the pyramids on the 
I'm just hearing your ancestors want you to be happily rich. There's no filth there. They want you to be happily rich and enjoy all the things that they could not. They want you to prosper so that you can help others prosper. They want you to create things that help the planet and help the world. Oh, so beautiful. That's how, you know, we are able to create things that help people. Having abundance, you know, money and using it wisely. Using it for your true heart's desire and to create things that help the planet, help kids, you know, and help people to elevate and come up higher and higher and higher. Here we go, folks. Open your hearts. I'm just seeing Isis coming up behind you and she's flowing these abundance codes into your crown now. And we honor her. We honor Mother Isis. It's almost like she put these healing codes into your um into your crown. And then uh, it's like a, a ch I want to say I want to say chalice for some reason. It was it's filled with a gold liquid and it's it's literally like gold and it's being poured on the top of your head and flowing down and downloading into your body. <laughs> I'm just hearing that you guys need to get out um, a pen and a piece of paper, a notebook if you will, and begin to write out your, your life how you want it to be. So if you want a hot husband or wife, you need to start it out with me and my beautiful wife are living in this place in this home doing this we are our true heart's desire is this we are living this way you know um whatever it is you know uh write it out however you know write out your dream life sorry <laughs> Just keep letting this energy flow into your heart. Relax. Open your hearts. Relax. Relax. This is what you deserve. You deserve healing. You deserve abundance. You deserve to live a life that you love. Haven't you suffered enough? Haven't you all suffered enough? Isn't it time to straighten your crown? 
Isn't it time to straighten your children's crowns and let them know who they are? Enough of this lack-based living. We're done. Get a go. Yes, send them all through a day. Get a send them all a day. Get a go. Yes, send them all a day. Get a go. Yes, send them all a day. Yes, send them all a day. It's funny because they just showed me right then in that moment, King Arthur literally pulling out the the Ex the Excalibur sword and just pulling it out of the stone and just pointing it to the sky. And, and the Excalibur of the sword uh, just lighting up the entire sky. It's time. And we honor him and we honor Isis and we honor all of our guys that are surrounding us right now. I'm literally getting, I'm going to hold you right here. There's something going on right here. I'm just seeing, um, I'm just seeing this huge, like, uh, castle, and these huge, like, gated, um, you know where the gates come up, or whatever, I'm sure you guys have seen them in the movies, where the gates come up, and they're just walking these dragons out one by one by one and there's a person a being it's like a, a warrior and he is literally he's just got them by the lead and he's just walking them out it's just a huge row of them it's like they've been imprisoned so Yeah, we're freeing the dragons it is time for us to be free it is time for us to step into freedom it is time for us to step into who we truly are it's time for us to be abundantly blessed and to create a life that we love and I know that some of you understand the multi-dimensional pieces and parts of all of this freeing the dragon freeing something with inside of you you know uh the healing codes and all this stuff and I'm just so appreciative that you guys understand what is going on on a higher level because yes we sit here right now yes neither neither one of us look like dragons yes we are not you know uh imprisoned you know right here right now but in these different dimensions you know these things are happening um on a on a level that you know when we begin to free these parts of us in this life and who we are we become free our minds become free you know um all of these all of our energy and our power just comes right back to us and then we stand here fully embodied into who we are and that is the point for me in this lifetime i want every piece of me back in my body in this body in ashley's body I know all of these things are going on around me, but anything that has been taken from me, any powers that have been taken from me, any times that I have been locked up, anything in past lives, in you know all these different dimensions, I want it back in this life. And I will not stop until it comes back, every piece of me. And that is why I work here with you guys, because I want you to fully embody everything that you are, everything that you came here to be, because you deserve that. You deserve to fully be embodied in all that you are because, number one, it feels so damn good. It feels so good. It feels so good. I just want you to know that. It feels really good to be fully embodied 
and all that you are. I won't say it again. But it feels really good. <laughs> and then coming down into the solar plexus now, we want to thank our dragons that have come through. We want to thank the warriors who have freed the dragons. We want to thank these visions and these um, these experiences that we're having in these different places. We want to just be super thankful for for the knowledge and for bringing pieces and parts of us back into the here and now, calling back all of our powers, calling back all the pieces and parts of us. They're kind of just showing me like the Tetris and they're just, it's like they're showing me pieces and parts of you just coming back and, you know, just lining up, lining up, lining up. Coming into the solar plexus now, I think I told you guys that. I'm just feeling like a dragon right here. He just kind of like leaning his head over on my, um, on my shoulder. Just being really thankful. And I feel the emotions of, of him. That is why we do what we do. That is why we will not stop until we've done our work here. Because we want to make sure that everything that needs our help is freed. We will make sure that everything that is in need of being freed is freed and is safe. And we will not stop until, until we're done. And when we die in this lifetime, we will be back to free more. That's the way it goes. We're not going to stop until everything is the way that we that it needs to be. They're just showing me a, a black um a black obsidian uh oval palm stone. It's either somebody's um using it right here on your solar plexus right now or you need to. It'll help you to move out the energies. The dragon's kind of it, it's black and then it's it's got um like it's um it's um uh, scales or whatever you would like to call it um are like a purple and blue tint. And the eyes are like green yellow. Feels like a very like a familiar to me, like um like it's glad to be home. So
Have you ever had a dog that is just so super happy to see you and it just like puts its head on your on your lap or or you know just just wants that love and just wants your attention? That's pretty much what I'm feeling right now, just from a dragon. So if you if you connect with that, if you connect with the dragon, you know, send it some love right now. It's obviously been through a lot. Maybe some of you can feel it. Maybe some of you can sense it being here. Maybe some of you can um, can feel its energy here. Your hearts are so powerful. It can heal anything. Your hearts are so powerful. It can heal yourselves. It can heal anything anything that you want I'm bringing this energy down into the sacral now and it actually is going to fire breathe into your sacrals now thank you Yeah, the dragons want to thank you for helping them to be saved. Even though you think you're not doing anything, you're actually a part of this whole scenario. So they want you to know that they are very thankful for you and for the work that you're doing here. Ancient. They're very ancient. They're very powerful. You can call on them at any time that you want. I'm just seeing a lot of dragons back here, kind of lying down and just resting. We can send good vibes to them. I'm going to bring this energy down into the root now. Something in my eyeball. I think I send them right now. So this guy to help us. I'm just seeing farmlands right now. I just want to bless the farmlands. Maybe some of you are going to buy farmland when all of your abundance comes in. We definitely want to bless the farmers and all of the work that they do to bring us fresh fruits and veggies and all of the things. 
Definitely want to just send them some love right now. I send them all day. Bless them, Mother Earth, for providing us with, you know, food and all the things that we need. Blessing the sun for helping us to grow all this food. If it weren't for the sun, we would not survive. Just go ahead and bring yourselves into your bodies. Again, your descent down. Coming into the hips now. Coming into the legs now. Flowing your energy down through the legs. And down into the knees. And into the calves. And into the ankles. And into the feet. And into your toes and your heels. And out the soles of your feet. And into the tenth earth star chakra. And down past that. And let this energy flow into Mother Earth, blessing her, loving her, allowing your powerful energy to heal, heal this planet, heal each and every one of us. Get yourself nice and grounded. Back into your body. I want to thank every one of you for, for this healing tonight. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of work to do after this to see what's going on with the dragons, but um, we just definitely want to send them love, and I'm sending each and every one of you love, and um, thank you so much for watching and being a part of this. And being a part of these um, just experiences that we are experiencing. And um, I hope that this, this video helped you and brought you to a place of peace. And manifesting the abundance that you seek in this life. Knowing that you deserve it. Knowing that you deserve everything that you want in this life. And um, I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. I'm so happy and I feel so blessed to have each and every one of you here. Um, if you like the videos, hit the like. If you like these types of videos, and um, hit the subscribe button. And all my information is in the um, in the description below. If you want to follow me in other places, and um, we can connect there. So, until next time, I love you all. Bye.